Hey guys, it's Retired at 40. I just got done making this whole chicken on the Traeger and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to carve a chicken or a turkey or a duck like a pro. Okay, so the first key to victory is you want to get a good knife. Uh, this is a butcher knife. It's pretty large, but if you have like a fillet type knife too, that works great. So this just came off the grill, so we're going to take the string off first. Alright, so your first step is you want to separate the leg from the body. And the key to victory really is just use the knife to feel the bone and where you need to cut. So this is your drumstick and then this is your thigh. You're going to want to lift up on the thigh and there's a piece of skin right here. We're just going to cut through that piece of skin and separate that thigh. There's the skin. Put your knife right in there. And just kind of feel with your knife. Okay, now that we have the leg separated from the body, you want to separate your drumstick from the thigh meat. And this bird is so juicy that it's pretty much just falling off of the bone. Okay, then we're going to we're going to turn this over and we're going to separate all of the breast on both sides. The easiest way to do that is you can kind of use your finger and you can feel this center bone that runs all the way along the center of the breast. We're going to take the knife and use the knife to feel where that bone is all the way back. And this is where a fillet knife comes in real handy because it's flexible and you can use that flexibility to kind of carve out that whole breast. Okay, now let's do the other side. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Okay, and then the wings should just pop out of the socket or you can cut them out. And you can serve those whole or you can cut them at the joint if you want to. I usually just serve them whole. There's not a whole lot of meat on them. And then you save the best for last. And where your legs used to be, there's a couple little nuggets of meat right in this little pocket right here and these are called the oysters. And those are your most tender part of the bird. And if you look, look you can see where this little pocket's at, where they sit in. So those are the major parts of the chicken. Uh, you can also, I like to take a fork and you can just kind of scrape out all the loose meat for sandwiches or you can leave this whole and just throw it into a crock pot or an instant pot or uh, just a boiling pot and make soup out of it. And then you can get every last piece of meat off there. And then all this stuff that was in the cavity is great if you want to make a soup too because then you can just throw it right into the soup. And then make sure you save all your drippings and juice that come off of this. Keep it into a pan separate and you can make your gravy with it. 
You can take the whole pieces of breast and just kind of go diagonal across the grain of the meat. And then you've got some nice juicy pieces of breast. If you want to learn how to cook a juicy roasted chicken like this, check out this video. If you've never been to the channel before, consider subscribing. We do some cooking, some grilling, some gardening, some food preservation, some self-sustained living, and you get to journey with me on my retirement at the age of 40. So click subscribe, make sure you ring the bell to get notifications for future videos that come out, and feel free to leave a comment, I always like hearing from you, or if you just want to say hello. Until next time. This is Retired at 40, reminding you to live life simple. I'll catch you next week. Who wants chicken? You want a leg or a breast? A breast. A breast? What is a breast? Breast. What is a breast? Breast. What is a breast?